Yo, 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 Team Talk Podcast, episode 20. Myself, Sam Olo, I got coached me. What are you saying, bro? Nah, no, man. <coughs> FA Cup weekend and back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 20 episodes, boy, just like that. I know. You know, hopefully we'll be here for a long time. Um, yeah, shout out all the listeners, shout out all the subscribers to the YouTube channel, Team Talk TV. Uh, we'll hope to get more content out to you guys very soon. So, yeah, obviously it was FA Cup weekend. So, not really... Because we record this on a Sunday, guys, so <clears throat> who's played? Man City, Newport. No major games, you know what I'm saying? No major games, man. Because <clears throat> obviously when you have the big teams like Man United also playing each other, someone's got to have to go out. And then there's a lot of small teams. Liverpool's gone out as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of smaller teams in there when there's no interest. It's like the international weekend sometimes. Mm. It's like the, the Wait, the wait, but where do you see FA Cup? Do you put it as international or do you rate FA Cup still like? I rate FA Cup more than the internationals. Mm. Yeah, that's internationals to me is about the competition. Yeah. And we came out qualifiers and all that sort of stuff. It's about the, the competition. But FA Cup, yeah, definitely, man. Well, if your club's still in it, innit? Yeah. If you're a Liverpool fan, you don't care. If yeah. you're an Arsenal fan, you don't care. Yeah. Uh, you're out of the cup. So, But if you're still in the cup, or you're like City going for the quadruple, then you care. So, you reckon they can do that or not? They've got the squad to do it, man. They don't look like they're getting injuries right now where it's key. Because they're in the Carabao Cup final. So let's just say they're going to write Chelsea off again. 6-0. Yeah. 3-0. Uh, yeah, 3-1 no. yeah. yeah, or something. <laughs> Okay, they got Schalke in the Champions League. Yeah. They're in the league basically for yeah. the title. And they just keep, oh well, my they keep God. doing in each competition. This is why it's a squad game right now. You have the Foldens and this and that coming. You came in and did well, you know. Yeah, and, the rest of them re- and the rest of them rest. So when, when you people are like, oh, these, these um, flock of games coming together and that, realistically, there's a lot of them City boys that play one game a week. Mm. They play one game a week because they've got the squad to trust the other players. Maybe Liverpool... Clock, clock that their squad is not as deep, so maybe that's why he tossed oh, the FA Cup. We, we know Liverpool squad was never going to be as deep because if you look at Liverpool squad, only reason why they got Van Dijk and Allison for their first 11s because they sold Coutinho, mm. so that was the majority of their money gone on that. So they reinvested straight away. Yeah. So that's what their, their job is to do next season mm. in the summer is to really look at their bench and see what they can bring off the bench. Now, they've done a decent signing with Shakiri, yeah. who's done quite well coming off the bench, but you need more players of that sort of quality coming off the bench. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll talk about the United Chelsea preview or Chelsea United FA Cup preview, but let's talk about Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. So last week, or well, this week, earlier this week, he experienced, his, he experienced his first L as United coach, interim manager. Um, first of all, how do you think United performed in the PSG game? <clears throat> um... Because we were quietly confident Yeah, last quietly week. confident, but at the same time, it's not like anyone came out of that game and said, you know what? What 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 actually helped PSG was the injuries when you look at the game. Because Trust me. Because Man United, realistically, you want to be playing against Neymar. No, no, that's in hindsight, though. No, when you're, no, 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 at the no, start no. of the game, what I'm like, yeah, no Neymar. But this, but, this, but this is my whole thing. In terms of just looking at them, even the way they set up, the guys that are coming in, those, those two are probably luxury players. Like you would call for that team. Neymar ain't tracking no one back. Bro, I saw a stat just before the game started, yeah. And I was like, oh my God. There was like, yeah, PSG concede 50% less goals when Neymar's not playing. Meaning that they have to work together. So when I heard that, I was like, oh. No, but that's logic. That's logic because Neymar is like playing with 10 players when you don't have the ball. He's not supposed to be... He's a luxury player. He's the modern day luxury player. Just how Ronaldinho was. Just how Messi was. Unless, obviously, Guardiola's coaching him. Then everyone has to press. But... That's just that's just how it is. If you got that special talent, you allow him to knock off when he doesn't have the ball. In 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 he's he's one of the luxury players in modern day football. So I'm not surprised by that stat at all. But in terms of United, I think um a lot of people were talking about both defences at the beginning of the match. But I think that um it was the attack that let us down. I think there were so many there were I so think many... PSG's defence was just I don't, I don't We think... made it easy for them, but they were just mm. solid. Every cross Every opening, like there was no chances. I think, I think, I saw when when I was watching the game, there were so many half opportunities to counter them three v two, four v three. But it was just that last pass. It was just that Lingard passing or Rashford or this. It was going behind the guy and or Marshall's being lazy. He doesn't want to just move his body to the right a bit mm, to collect the ball. Like just that. just stuff like that. It was. Just, we can't do that at that level. But then once again with PSG, if you're not going to make that extra effort to do those little things, mm. you will get punished. That is the Champions League level. There's no, you're not playing against Fulham or you're going to get another opportunity. Bang, bang, two goals, tie, done. 
Good night, tied on. So, but like you said before, if probably Mourinho was there, whatnot, everyone would be like, oh, okay, it's, this is it's not like it's a surprise. But obviously, because Solskjaer's come in, the vibe's a bit different. We're expecting more. The forward players let us down. The front four let us down. Pogba, Martial, Lingard and Rashford. I think the Ooh, midfield let us down. I think Marquinhos did a great job on Pogba, yeah? He followed him everywhere. And for me, Marquinhos and... and um, Thiago Silva were the, were the top players in that, and Verratti uh, later on when the you game. Can't, you can't, you can't, you can't man mark top players. It's but what, but it was just, it, I don't know, like well, they nullified Pogba and then Matic and Herrera, they weren't kind of ambitious enough, so they kept it simple. So it fell on the, the owners fell to the front three, and yeah, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't perform. They didn't perform at the end of the day. It's just one of their nights. It's something that they got to learn and move on with. That's why whoever's in charge in the summer, they really, really, even if we make top four, this is what I'm saying about the whole top four thing. You make top four, but you reach the last 16. I'm not on that sort of Arsenal vibe. Do you get what I'm saying? I want to be making the quarters, the semis, deep into the competition. So whoever's going to be in charge in the summer really needs to look at the potential players that you want to buy in, not only for the Premier League, but for the Champions League moving forward as well. Because those players, they will learn from this tie, the Marshalls and that, because it's probably their first real time in, in stuff like that but we just got to see we just got to see you've been um, vocal that yeah it's not looking good on Poch how well Solskjaer has been doing and you've been a fan of what things that he's done so far is there anything Solskjaer did in the game that maybe you had to look at that like, okay that wasn't good enough or he needs to change what did I say about Solskjaer when he first came in what's he playing with Tell me, tell me, what's he playing with? They know what I'm going to hold. They know what I'm going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. The what's house money. The house money. He's playing with house money. So, it, me looking at Solskjaer right now has no point. It's the same players. Mourinho had to do No, deal but with. I'm saying in that game, tactically, yeah, did you see anything yeah, like, oh, he should have done this in the second half? Go for it, Solskjaer. There's no name on Cavani. What else can you do? Go for it. The players that have been playing well for you, go for it. They let him down. Mm. That that thing, there were so many half opportunities where we can get into their final third and punish them, but we just didn't have that final ball. We didn't have the quality in the final third, and that's what it is. But for me, I think Solskjaer's already got the job. You reckon? I think he's already got the job. And it might be a, a reach for me saying why I think he's got the job, but I'm really struggling to feel what manager in their right mind would give Smalling and Jones an extension on their contract. Knowing that we've got Lindelof and Bailly already on their contract. So that means that's four centre-backs. That means we're not getting no centre-backs in the summer. That's what that's telling me. Unless they're trying to sign them and then... To sell, sell them on, yeah. Maybe. If that's the plan, then cool. But what I'm saying... look at Fellaini. Fellaini, um, someone opened my eyes. I think it was Dots. So out of Dots, he said... Fellaini signed a contract and we got rid of him because I was thinking has there been a time when the players signed a contract? Fellaini's one was like yo two years so and his one was just based on Mourinho being dogged fighting his corner cool I'll give him the two year extension not like he got a brand new four year deal but these guys are getting brand new four year deals because they've been at United for six seven years and they haven't even developed a partnership have they even been together for a season to play with each other I don't think they've even been so for me that's a big indication but like you said if it's a thing to sign and sell, mm. I understand that. But if it's a sign to stay, I think Solskjaer had an input into that. Seeing them from December till now, do they deserve that contract? How long they've been at United? Because they looked at the senior players at United. They are just, as much as we don't understand. That, that pains that, that our senior players that are the dead wood. That, the senior, senior players are the dead, dead wood. wood. Yeah, Ashley Young, they're all the experienced yeah. players, but that's the dead wood. Yeah. That's what it is, and that's what you're passing down. That's why I said it's it's up for guys like Lingard and and Rashford that sort of quality to come through to be the to be the standard. Smalling and Jones, how they got a new contract, I don't know. It was the contract was winding down nice and slowly to the summer. Mm. Whoever wants to put money in it, go and get your big wages from elsewhere. We will take we'll cut our losses with you. You haven't done nothing for six seven years, but now they've signed the contract. It makes me feel that Solskjaer's had input into them getting a new contract which I, means I hope you're wrong man I listen hope you're wrong. I hope I'm wrong too I hope, I hope you're wrong, wrong too. Um, last week we were talking about <laughs> Rashford and Mbappe we weren't saying they were in the same league or the same kind of class but we were talking about how they will both be the focal point for their teams how do you think like, let's, do, let's, let's compare the two Rashford first of all I think he's not in there. You know me, I'm not a big Rashford fan right now. I'm, I've still got a lot to prove in me. He's just English hype at the moment, which is cool. I mean, there's, there, there are two worlds apart, man. I mean, look at Mbappe's goal, man. That, 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 the that, desire to know, get into the box for that say. second goal, that man. Is, you, you know what would happen? That's a gamble. You know, Nine times out of ten, Bailey gets that yeah, out, you know. But you know what would happen if that was Rashford? He would have tried to come short. 
do something where it's, it's easy. Where Mbappe saw the space, saw the two centre backs, and said, "I'm getting in the middle of you guys." And when I get there, look at the quality Killer. of the finish. Look at the quality of finish. He's getting there. Look at the court. Listen, you're not putting it past no makeshift keeper here, you know. Mm -hmm. You're tucking it past David De Gea right mm -hmm. now, who's one of the best, if not the best, mm -hmm. shot stopper right now, mm -hmm. who's saving anything. You tried to get cheeky earlier because you had a chance after that when he's through. You tried to dink it over. You can do that 2-0. Yeah. You can do 2-0, two away goals. Man United, you have to come to us. So for me, Mbappe, you just... Obviously, there was no comparison in the last podcast, but they just shouldn't be in the same bracket. They're the same age group, mm. but they just shouldn't be in it. They're, they're two worlds apart. They're absolutely two worlds apart. Rashford, like I said, got a lot to prove when it comes to me. And I'm a United fan, so he's got a lot to prove when it comes to me. But Mbappe, it's just world class, man. It's just Mbappe, I would just like to see his longevity now. Because he's hit the heights he's hit right now, mm. when he gets to 25. I can see him doing this for time, I can, bro. I can see it because of his attitude. He's an animal, the way, he G. Plays, the way he plays is so humble. It's so, I'm still going to work. And what I love about him, yeah, he's got a football brain. Oh, he will do all the mad runs, so the all Rashford, the mad, but he will make the right decision. Does Rashford have a football brain? He'll pass. What's it, does Rashford have a football brain? He has a football <laughs> brain, but it's not. He has a football brain, but I get what you mean. There's times he does things that you're thinking, no. Oh. But with age cut, that comes, yeah. But some people just got it. That's why Mbappe is special. Because at that age, you've got it already. That's what that's what separates them two. But, um, so, second half, yeah. Martial comes off. Lingard come, comes off. Um, they didn't really have the best of games anyway. So, at halftime, I see Sanchez getting... Oh, Sanchez came on just before halftime, yeah. And you know what? I genuinely felt, you know what, yeah, that like Sanchez, this going, bro, like, Make 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 your mark. We've been waiting for you know. This is it. European night. He came on and was probably the worst player. Listen like up. Sanchez. Like what? What's happening with Sanchez? Is Sanchez is not the first person that's flopped at United. That's a big name like that. This is what I'm trying to say. United are a big fish. United are a big pond. When he was at Arsenal, I don't care what Arsenal fans say or anyone else say. He was a big fish. He was a big fish in a small pond. So he can get away with things that the expectations not really there of Arsenal because they're just glad to have an Alexis they're just glad to have an Ozil at the time they were just glad to have these players that are better than the average ones they've been used to because at the time the fans wanted more bigger signings this so they bought Ozil what I'm bought Sanchez and if we get Sanchez for 32 mil or whatever they got that's a bargain at the and end Barca day. didn't want him at that time there you go that's a bargain so at the end of the day the expectation of Arsenal is totally different from the expectation at United when you're coming in there you can't come on there and this Billy Big Bollocks thing and this that you can't come on you can't come to Old Trafford like that you, especially if you're not a superstar you can't come to the Old Trafford like that but it's, we made him look at the whole rollout of the of him coming we made that's, we that's, made that what I'm saying is that's Woodward this is what I'm trying to say about the business commercial thing South America pianos playing with Fred the Red all that sort of stuff mm. yes we did that like that, that's Woodward's side that's what he does mm. the promotion Facebook Instagram he loves that and everyone was and it, it works right now Woodward is succeeding of course in, in terms of yeah he's, he's actually doing well that, for United. but just not the football side yeah. so in, ter in terms of Sanchez he's not the first person I mean one Sebastian Veron came to us big time baller if anyone knows Veron didn't set the world alight at Old Trafford like Di Maria someone who Di played Maria, in the second leg in the first leg even on a lower on a lower scale someone like Forland what did he do when he left Falcao Falcao do you know what I'm saying so all but where does this, well, where, what I'm asking you this is where does this leave Sanchez is there time to turn it around a lot of people are saying that Sanchez, he, he just might be shot now. Like, I don't think he's shot. I think he just might need to go elsewhere. He might just need to go elsewhere. Where, where would you see him going, first of all? I don't, it's not even my, I would even... But uh, in England or not in England? Could go in England, but where would you go in England? Back to Arsenal? I've, I've saw reports actually, <laughs> Sanchez back to, back to Arsenal. Great, I mean, that's a downgrade. There's no pressure on you no more and whatnot. He might go to China. You don't know. He might. I don't know what Sanchez might do. But right now, I'm just very interested. I'm more about May United. I'm not really about the individual player. I want to know what the May United manager is going to do for May United to go forward. Mm. That's what I want to see. If Sanchez don't fit into that, he don't fit into that. He needs to go. Mm. Simple as that. You need to tell Matt. You need to tell people like Sanchez. These are the standards. You're a top class player. It's either you're gonna do it or you're not. You're 30 years old now. Like if you're not doing that at 30 years old at May United right now, you need to bounce and go. What looks else. worrying though is that it doesn't look like he's not trying. When he gets the ball, it looks like he's over trying. He's over trying because right now there's there's a lack of confidence. Number one, and <laughs> so I know you're gonna I know you're gonna think I'm 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 wild with this comment, and I Wait, said it. I said I'm telling you. Listen, 
See when he was striding on the Emirates pitch, yeah? It looks like he's just getting to the box effortlessly. What was that the word? Effortlessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys know what I'm saying out there. But when he's at Old Trafford, when he picks up the ball near the halfway line, he looks and he's like, damn, there's a long way to go to get to that goal, you know. I don't have the pace. Bro, I remember I Sanchez proud. picking the ball up left wing, Bro. two touches, and he's, and he's letting it fly. He's, let, he's not even getting in them areas no more. I don't, listen, like I said, I don't know about pitch sizes and all that. Stuff. Maybe his pace, saying, maybe he's lost a yard of pace. Listen, but he never had blistering pace like that anyway. He was all about, was quick. No, but he was all about the sharpness, yeah, the yeah, turns, yeah, the yeah, real. Yeah. Right Very now. sharp turns. I don't see that 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 but what change is, of pay, is, of direction. But what it is is now Sanchez at Arsenal. He has a six out of ten game. He still gets blown up by the fans. Oh, don't worry, Sanchez. Look at the effort he gave though. Look at the effort, blah blah. At United, them standards ain't good enough. You're giving a six. You're gonna get pointed out. You're giving a six. Like the standards are way beyond what you did at the Emirates. Do you know what I'm saying? The expectations. So at the end of the day, I think the expectations are weighing him down. His injury didn't help as well his injury didn't help this season so him he's at the crossroads this summer I'm not even watching him right now between now and the summer because he looks like he's shot mm. so he needs to go to the summer whoever it wants again whoever the manager is you need to sit down with him and just let him know these are the standards are you going to keep up to it or do you want to go if you want to go let us know we'll find you another club etc etc done finished because mm. we need to move on like Man United can't be waiting on these players no more. We're at that stage where we need to get a certified manager in, whether it's Solskjaer, Poch or whoever it is, that's going to keep Man United rolling now. Because mm. it looks like, obviously, with Woodward, he's going to appoint a man that does it the Man United way. He looks like now he's reached that point. He can't give no one the reins no more to do the Louis van Gaal, the mm. Jose Marino. Everyone is demanding. Whoever comes in has to do the Man United way. Which it should be. I reckon it should be. That's not a problem. But whoever that man is, the Man United way also consists of moving the team forward. It's always the team first, mm. not the individual. Sanchez can't cut it. Cut Sanchez. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Um, last couple of days, uh, reports have come out saying Lukaku might be on his way out, and they're looking to flog him with a like a player swap kind of deal. So two team, three teams have come out uh, are, are named on these different kind of articles. Yeah, Dortmund, Sancho, seventy mil Lukaku. First of all, what do you think about that? So I'm gonna go through the three. Yeah. So San first of all. Would you want to see Lukaku leave Old Trafford? No, for the simple fact that if he can accept he has a striker competition with Rashford, then I wouldn't want to see him leave. Because I know I know Lukaku's got a very strong mentality. Mm -hmm. Watching him going through different clubs and all that stuff, and he still does his thing. He's got I like players with strong mentality. He's not the worldy that you see with the first touch and all that stuff, but I like his mentality. He's a main. His mentality is for main. Even through the tough times, yeah, he was saying a lot of stuff that is just like, guys, we're main United. We need to play a certain. So but this play a certain way. That's what I'm about to get to before after a straight. As you said that, yeah. Even you saying the Man United way earlier. Does Lukaku fit in that system? Well, he did. This is what I'm saying. Apart from people looking at the last six, seven months of Lukaku, he has. But that wasn't a Man United system, the prior managers. No, so now, with well, the way we play now, do you what? see him fitting in, in this system? But what I'm saying is that his job as a striker is to score. Van Nistelrooy wasn't necessarily the Man United way. Was he blistering? Was he like Rashford? Or we all know what we're talking about. Like, like no, How Barcelona wouldn't sign a certain striker if he doesn't... Like teams with their identity, yeah? They have to have players that fit into it. Just like how we were talking about Barca and Ajax and all these teams that have a way of playing. Yeah, but I think we see with United, especially when it comes to the striker position, if you look at their strikers over the years, they've all been different. Yeah, they have. It's just the people around them, the people around them that have been doing the running, yeah. the this, the that. was a fox it's in a yeah, box. The, the, actual, had, yeah, yeah. the actual number nine playing, whether it's Cole, Van Nistelrooy, York. even Solskjaer at certain times, mm -hmm. York, um, Lukaku, they've always, their job is to back, put the ball in the back of the net. Mm -hmm. It's everybody else's right, job to yeah, do yeah. the... So when I look at his position, if he can say, listen, if Rashford's playing better than me and he's ahead of me, my mentality is I've got to fight for my position, cool. Mm. But if he feels that, yo, I must be my United striker, no matter what, this, that and the other, and he's got that attitude, then he can also bounce. Mm. As well. All right, so Sancho, what do you think about Sancho? I mean, Sancho, if he comes to my United now, he, he's, he's, I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking. What, that's not what I was expecting. No, why, why are you I'm saying, not saying that? I don't, I don't want him. I'm just saying for his sake, don't don't feed into the gas. You went to Dortmund. You've been there for what? And you're not even a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Well, go and do two more years, three more years in that league. By the time you'll be what? 21. Your body would have been matured. How old is Central? 18. Wow. This is what I'm trying to say. Don't overdo the gas. Like, the way he's playing right now with the freedom and stuff, you can do that at Dortmund. Dortmund, are, listen, Dortmund are not put under pressure to win the league. That's Bayern's job. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have the finances. But they're in the race. They're, they're, no, they're, they're, they're top. top. But what yeah. I'm saying is that if they don't win the league, <clears throat> it'll be a disappointment to them because as players, but on the grand scheme of things, Dortmund are not there every season yeah, to win the league because yeah. they sell, they buy. They sell, they buy. So there's no consistency. Bayern are the ones that buy That's and keep. To win the league, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So for me, if I'm Sancho, I'm not coming to Man United right now. At 21, if you still want me at 21, three years time, no problem. You missed, you missed a good point there. Um, another one, Juventus, Dybala. So Lukaku to Juventus, Dybala, Old Trafford. Yeah, I mean... Do you make Dybala? He scored a cracker um, this I think, weekend. I think he's good, but... I don't know, man. I like, I like, Too fragile. I like, I like different... What it is for me, Lukaku's proven. So Dybala, cool. Like, on FIFA, he looks better. Do you get what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. I've seen no, him just, play, you know, he what, looks better. No, but what I'm saying is that you've seen him play, yeah, but you've seen him play in the Italian league, right? The Premier League is just different to everywhere else. Like Europe, the, the players that bounce between Europe are cool because it's European football. Everyone plays kind of like the similar football. But when you come to the Premier League, certain man can't hack it. Di Maria can't hack it. Falcao can't hack it. There's certain man that can't hack it. And it's South America, isn't it? But it's yeah, yeah. There's certain man that can't hack the Premier League. If you go by his quality, what we've seen so far, of course I have the baller. No, 100% have the baller. But I can't afford the baller to come here and then have that weak mentality, it's premiership, people are pushing me around and we've sold Lukaku. Now we have to go and do what with the baller now. Now it's another Sanchez situation. We can't be taking them sort of, it's, it's just my... It's so just my that, is that how you feel about Akadi as well? Would you put Akadi <coughs> from the in intern? I'm not interested in Akadi. I'm not interested in Akadi. So it would be the baller, 50-50, Sancho... So basically you want to keep Lukaku? Yeah, as, a, as that second striker. If he was ready to step up. And I'm thinking about up. the Premier League. Because that's, that's, that's my main focus as a fan, getting back to the Premier League. If you're, going for, if you're going for a league title, if, yeah, if you're going for a league title, Lukaku wouldn't be a bad option to yeah, come off the bench. This is what, to but it up. yeah, I don't think Lukaku is ready to be a B striker. I don't, I don't think he's ready to be like a Giroud, you know, the B strikers, the Gabriel Jesus, the Sturridge. And if not, that's not a problem. He did more than that. He more than does. He's put in the work to go and say, I want to go and be a main striker somewhere else. No problem. Mm. Then we have to start looking at other options. Uh, cool. We're going to come off the United topic now, but. Just before we do so, we'll talk about the United Chelsea preview, FA Cup. We went to Stanford Bridge. Was it last season that we went to Stanford Bridge in the FA Cup when Herrera got sent off? Was it two seasons ago? Who knocked us out in the FA Cup? No, oh no, no, it was two seasons ago. Cause, so back at Stanford Bridge, Sarri, uh, they won on, on, on Thursday against Malmo, back to winning ways. It wasn't so easy because Malmo got a goal back. But how do you see that game going at Stanford Bridge? And I didn't even know that um, this round of fixtures, it goes to extra time. Yeah, there's no... There's no, no replay. replay. There's, too, there's too many. There's not enough. Because at first I was saying, you know what, I wouldn't mind a draw taking it. But yeah. Yeah, you just got to... But, and for me, that even works out better for Man United. You have to go and win. <laughs> it's just simple. There's no, there's no... Oh, you know what, guys? It's 80 minutes. It's 1-1. One, one. Mm. Can we take this back? No. you got to go and win here. You have to win here. So that mentality is totally different. But in terms of the match... I think once again it's a 50-50 match. Chelsea will play better obviously because at home and they play better at home. Um, we're going to miss Lingard and Martial as options as well. Are they definitely out? Yeah, from what Solskjaer is saying too. I think they're out of the Liverpool game as well. And then Mata and Lukaku have got to come in. No, no, no. So what, what I would do, I would play Lukaku, Sanchez and um, what's his name? Rashford. Rashford. That's what I'll just do. Mm. You have to just go for it. There's no point in doing We don't have the squad to be... You don't have the squad to be penny pinching and, and, and stuff like that. So to me, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even like just, so I don't have to think too much about this one. Just go over them front three, Pogba behind them and then the other two that are blocking, that are sitting Herrera and thing. That's it, done. Whoever wants to pick at centre back, well, that's the other issue. But the full backs, they're pretty covered. I'll probably play the low in this tie. I'll play the low um, instead of- Why would you play the low? Yes, it's FA Cup. It's a, it's a cup game. I mean, where else is he going to get his experience from? We're going for the top four, which looks like is the main objective. I think Romero's going to play as well because he played against if Arsenal. If he plays, then he plays. Like, I mean, if Romero plays, he plays. It's just it's weird though, isn't it? Like, would you want to play your main your main keeper? You would, but I mean, you never know what's in his contract. Mm. 
Do you know what I'm saying? All these things. You've got to play the cup game. I know I'm not going to be in front of De Gea in the league games. So that's 38 games if he's fit off the table. Where else am I going to get games? Maybe a Champions League dead rubber, Carabao Cup, mm. FA Cup. So cool. I put that in my contract. Cup games. But how do you see Chelsea setting up in, on, on Monday night? Um... More of the same, really. Just the same, Jorginho. Whatever. Do you think he's gonna? He's still gonna keep the Jorginho Kante effect. Well, why fit? not? Yeah. You might as well go down with the ship. Like you don't know. <laughs> you don't know when you're. Che- Listen, Chelsea's merry go round of managers. What's the point in trying to change things and do what people say? And that the players run the asylum. If the players want to play for you, mm. they will play for you at Chelsea. That's what it is. So you just got to play the Hazard, Iguain, and and whoever he wants to put on the right. Me personally, I'll unleash Hudson Odoi, but that's just my personal opinion. And then in the middle, you just maybe play, I don't know, Kante and Jorginho alongside Barkley or Barkley, Kovacevic yeah. or whatever, whoever it is. It's not, once again, they're another team that's just like, you kind of know, they're not going to spring no surprise on you. Like, you kind of know what they're going to do. Prediction? Um, two one United. Yeah, I'm saying 2-1 United two as one well. United. Two one United. Or one nil Chelsea, I think. Nah, I think Chelsea will concede, but two one United anyway. Um, Arsenal, <laughs> they were laughing at United fans, saying, "Yeah, you lot were gassed, you know, social. How what? However many games winning streak he was on, yeah, you come to an end, you, you got shown the levels, which we did, you know. Man United got realized their levels against against PSG, but then two days later." Arsenal lose to Bate Boris. Someone Shout out Kev, Bate, Bate, Bate Boris. Huh? Someone told me they're Wi Fi password <laughs> or something. Like Bro, that. how do you lose? Um, and the thing is, the mad thing is that they were bringing that their youth team like, to, the, to the, these games prior. But this time around, because they hadn't, because they're running fixtures, they literally don't have any games on the weekend. And then the next game is Barca Boris off again. So they've had days to spare. Yeah. So they brought their first team. <laughs> their first team did worse. Yeah, I mean, and Barte Borisov ain't played since December. Huh? Oh my God, I forgot about that. Oh. Where okay, what I want to know is, like, what is happening to Arsenal? Like, what do you reckon? Do you reckon it's just a morale thing? Do you reckon Emery is looking at it like, wow, Listen, I underestimated this job? Everything will be forgotten once they beat Borisov in the second leg, because that's what's gonna happen at the end of the day. It's about getting through at this time, this time of the season. It's not. I know it's a shock loss or whatever but it's the reality is once they get to the Emirates their home patch they will just smoke Barte Borisov and then they'll move to the next round that's what it is obviously they shouldn't be losing to them teams mm-hmm. anyway but in terms of Emre right now once again he's just like Solskjaer it's his first year what do you want him to do it's the structure of Arsenal that needs to be exposed first it was Wenger out okay they've got Wenger out so now Wenger's out is it really the manager no you're looking at the structure of the team I'm hearing 45 million there to spend Ozil doesn't want to go on loan this, that and the other. You can't get rid of it. All this sort of stuff. Like Miss Lintax left. So it's right now it's exposing the structure mm. of the club. Once the structure is there, then you can see is the manager really that guy. Right now you can't even test Emery. Right now. You can't you can't do he's been dealt these players. These guys are not his players. That's why it's very important with the manager. Are you the manager or the head coach? If you're the head coach, then that's how I'm gonna judge you. You went into that job knowing you're not going to get the players that you want all the time. You just have to coach these players. But if you're going there as a manager, then cool. So next season, I'll be looking at Emery more closely. That's what I'll be doing. You've had a year to settle in England, Arsenal, and been no pressure on you, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. <coughs> Done. Who's the strongest? Who's the, you know, like technically, who's the best player in Arsenal? If you're on paper, like if you look at their squad on paper, who would you pick out and say, yeah, that's their best player? In the whole squad. Mm. Really, like, you can't really look past. Give Aubameyang. me some contenders. Who would you put it between? You can't, you can't look past Aubameyang, really. But he's an only proven player that's done it like properly. Like he's an only. Ozil player. hasn't done it. Ozil, he's Ozil. proven. Ozil's not proven. Uh, Ozil's proven, but Ozil's shot as well. That's the thing about him. Right? Okay, because well, that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, he's shot. Oz, what it is about Ozil is that the stats might say he's running. But your eyes tell you something else. That's the difference with him. Like <coughs> Emery wants his teams running. That's what he wants. I didn't watch the full game yeah. I caught a bit of it, yeah. The Arsenal Barte Borisov game. And the pitch looks a bit kind of you know, it wasn't letting you really um play how you wanted to play. 
the players were touching. No, obviously the pitchers, both teams have to play in the pitch. But the Arsenal players were taking a lot of touches. It was like they weren't really moving the ball properly. Yeah. In a game like that, to not have Ozil in the squad, he didn't travel. Yeah, and they said he was ill, but he came out that he said he wasn't. Yeah. Is um, Emery cutting his nose to spite his face, basically? No, not really. As I said, Emery. Because Ozil, I reckon in that game, he just shows his quality. Listen, you can't chat to Emery right now. This is what I'm saying about Arsenal fans. Do you want the change or do you not want the change? Do you get what I'm saying? You can't have both. You can't have Wenger out, then the guy's coming in and saying, yo, Ozil ain't doing what I need him to do for the team. If he was doing it, mm. he'd be in the team. Mm. Like, I don't have no favourites. or what. He would be in the team. He's the most paid He's the most paid player at the club. Mm. And that's for a reason at the end of the day. He's got quality. He's a World Cup winner. He's played on the big stage. Why wouldn't I play him? But the only reason why I'm not going to play him, he's not doing what I need to do for the team. He's come on there on that, yo, I'm Ozil, I've been here for a long time. There's no threat in this in this squad. Who's going to replace me? Ramsey? Yeah, yeah, right. Who? Um, Gondosi? Yeah, right. What, Xhaka in my position? What, a wall be? He's come with that. Edge. There's no competition for Ozil. He's been comfortable for you for a, long, for a long time. And this is what it is. And Emre's come in there and said, yo, if I end up getting sacked in the next two or three years or whatever, I ain't going down with Ozil. Yeah, Ozil can go down I think that himself. PSG situation has made Emery like this man because he had to, had to do with Neymar and a lot of players that were kind of trying to run the, run the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's not letting that happen again. Oh, uh, yeah, this is what I'm saying. With Ozil, you can, like I said, the stats will prove that he covers a lot of ground. Mm. But at the same time, when I watch Ozil, I know why he's not playing. I know why he's not playing. One through ball a match is not cutting it for me at this stage. So, once again, until he fires his hunger, mm. yeah. To me, I'm, I'm fully backing Emery in this decision. Fully backing him. That go with the players that are going to go to war for you. Don't go with no soldiers. That Even if their quality them. is not. Don't go with yeah. no soldiers that are good snipers, but do you get what I'm saying? They can't hit the shot when it's time to hit mm. the shot. Yeah, they're good snipers mm. when you give them time. and all, But if they can't hit the shot when it's time to... Don't go with soldiers like that. Go with soldiers that are ready to go in the trenches yeah. for you as the general. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Like little Wobies, the Terreras, the Gondolzis and all that stuff. Yeah, they're not as good talent-wise as Ozil. But at the end of the day, he's like, yo, for the team's sake, I need to show the team that this is a new era. We're all accountable for each other. We all hold responsibility. It's not the whole Wenger era where I'll play Ozil for the sake of playing Ozil. He's not doing nothing, but I'll keep playing. And what message does that send to the and other players? A lot players? of Arsenal fans wanting him out. They said yeah. he should be dropped. What other play- what, what, what <clears> But now Arsenal fans are calling him back in saying... It's obvious there's no quality. We need quality. Yeah, but listen, that's what I'm saying. Arsenal fans, what do you want? As fans in general, you, that's how you, fans are. Though. are that's how gonna, we all are. Are you gonna be patient? or Are you not gonna be patient? It's as simple. You got your f- listen. How you, patient do you? Because look, where do you see Arsenal going now? So right now they're sixth in the league, or they're fifth, yeah, mm-hmm. with Chelsea. Um, now they've lost one 0 to Abate. Do you see them some way? How do you see them salvaging the season? No now? expectation for Arsenal this season. I don't know why. Do you know what I'm saying? That's why it gets into the social media thing. It's just people are just lost in the source. At the beginning of the season, let's give him time. What is time? It's either you're giving him time or you're not. You got Wenger out. As fans, that's a big thing for Arsenal. Mm. At the end of the day, that you got Wenger out because at the structure at, at Arsenal, he was there forever. Like he said, he finishes every contract that he does. So Arsenal sacked him for the sake of the for the sake of the fans or whatever. Okay, you got him out. You got a new guy in. Yes, he wasn't the A choice. The A choice was Allegri. You didn't want Allegri. The second choice was Arteta. You didn't get Arteta. So you got the C option. You got Emery. So now you got to give him time mm. at the end of the day. Give him time. Like this season's a, a wash. You need to look at the structure of your club in the summer. If you end up spending 45 million, once again, there's no pressure on Emery again, because we know in this day and age, in this market, you can't be spending all 45 million. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That might not buy you Lukaku's leg. At, at this rate that's not buying that's not even buying you like a one leg of that that sort of player so if you're going to spend 45 million and then you want to hope to stay in a top four race or be in a title and stuff it's not going to happen Emery can't work wonders like that he's not a coach like that do you got what I'm saying so give him time Arsenal fans if you don't want to give him time just just get used to the Chelsea model just that manager in out in out but Chelsea got money though Chelsea got money, but what I'm saying is that if they keep putting unnecessary pressure on Emery to play Ozil, who was part of the Wenger regime, then you're going backwards. You're talking forwards, but you're moving backwards mm. and whatnot. You're just saying that because you want to keep up with the banter of the week. 
That's what it is. Oh, you should have played Ozil. See, these guys are bantering us. Right? It's not a banter thing here. It's football. Mm. It's either you want to move forward or not. You might have to take one step backwards to take two steps forward. But right now, Arsenal fans, they want to take one step backwards, one step forward, one step backwards, one step... And they're in the same place. Mm. Now all of a sudden, they play Ozil. Mm. So you got to give him time, man. you got to give Emery it's time. It's a long road, it seems, that for Arsenal fans, boy. Yeah. Oof, boy. We've, we've been there, man. We've been there. But... um. While Arsenal are doing that, meanwhile, the North London rivals are, you know, I know you're not a fan of Poch here, but I w- not a fan of Poch. no, no, you're not, man. Come I on, bro. Nah, no, bro. Listen, listen, I say how it I, is, bro. Okay, listen. I said with Poch, I'm going off what he's done in terms of Spurs. When guys give him the prop, look at the resources. Just as you're saying it, be use it in context as you're saying it. So don't compare him to other managers. Listen, look at him and what he's been given. Listen, when a when a manager tells me on TV, yeah, on, on January the first, yeah, we're not involved in the title race. Then it comes to next week, January the eighth. Well, he's trying he's, to manage expectation. That's no, like is, look, read between the lines, bro. Listen, 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 he's listen, trying to manage expectations. What I'm trying to say, you've already told me that. Look at the resources. So yeah. if we're looking at the resources and giving him props. That that gives you even more incentive to say, yeah, we're in the title race. But guess what? If we flop in the title race, so what? I can just drop back on the whole. I didn't have enough resources. Yeah, but look when Klopp. So Klopp no, but look, look when we all knew at the start of the season, Liverpool, were, Liverpool were contenders. Hmm. At one point, when Liverpool were at top, Klopp was still saying, nah, you know, we're not really the favourite. Before just... January, if you see after January, it's talk about the title. You ain't got no choice after January. You're up there. These times they were like what seven points ahead or something like that. Seven hmm. points. You have no choice. You're seven points ahead after January. Mm. You are top of the table. You are in the race. Mm. Whether you want whether you want to believe it in your world or not, you're in the race at the end of the day. With Tottenham, it's just, I like Poch when he's just like, yo, yep, we're in the title. And guess what? If we end up falling out of the title, cool. Everyone can just say, I didn't have the resources to Do keep up. Do you respect up. his kind of managerial ability? Of that- course. Of course. His, ma- his man management, his, um, he looks like he sets standards. Mm. For everyone, he looks like it's very much team first because when it's team first, it doesn't matter who comes in and out, bro. That's guys like I, Skip and Foyth are coming into the okay, team I'm and not, trying to and try and they're not. You can see that kind of like and winks. These players, I don't put them up at, at that level, but you can see that when they come into the team, they know that they're looking around and that's a standard that they have to play. That's what I like about. That's why I like about his management. That's why when players are out and stuff like that, he just kind of says, like, we kind of get, got to get on with it. It's not, you know that open my eyes a lot, you know. There's not really much we can do about it. We can just get on with it. So, for me, when it comes to his management style, in terms of, I can see he's very team-oriented. Mm. Like, But that's what I'm trying to say. When, that opened my eyes a lot, when Kane was injured, got injured against United, and then Deli Ali got injured the game after, and Son flew out, that is what I wanted to see. I was quietly just, you know, observing. I wanted to see how Tottenham react. And it shows that they don't base their game off one player. Of course, your best players are your best players. But it shows that the way they play is the system, is the team. Because people came in, Lorente came in, and he hasn't done bad. Do you get what I'm saying? He's, 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 not, he's not Harry Kane, but he's done what he's supposed to do. Which means, it's the team. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's what I like about um, Poch, you know? No, it's true, it's true. So, for me, listen, like I said, when it comes to that and Poch, I rate him highly. Mm. It's always team first, yeah. and that's what I like. So, if he was to come United, I know that sort of standard would be held for them guys as well. So, I, 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 do you see the game against Dortmund? Yeah, I saw the game. Yeah, yeah. Tottenham, man. Come on, let's talk about it. Like that's a professional performance. First leg for me, the game is tie is done now. You know, Son. I want to talk about Son. Yeah, this guy. Shout out Son because he's been in my fantasy football team since the start of the season. Because you know, what I mean, he's been moving fizzy, but. When's he, when when is, when are guys gonna put respect on Son's name? He's the best player in the Premier League right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh wait, wait. Let me think about that actually. Okay. Cause I don't think wait. You're talking about form, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, but I'm saying. He's the best player in the league right now. Aguero has been in form. Rashford was on form. For me, I think Pogba. Son, Pogba was on form. If it's on the Premier League, I Pogba. Think, I think Son has had to do more. I think personally, I think Son has had to do more. Me personally. Got to put some respect on Son's name right now because he's the upgraded version to Park Ji Sung. So for me right now, he's the... And the thing about Son, it's not just his goals, his work rate and his football IQ. Always say that about these boys that are just all fast, that are just athletes, that are just running around. It's improved, you know. It wasn't always like... Even last season, there were times we did some suspect... No, no, definitely. But I'm talking about 
We can only go off what he's done mm-hmm. in the last few months. And what he's done the last few months, he's a key player for that team because really, <coughs> he, he's the only man that can do multiple things in that team. He can go and pick up the ball at wide beat a man. He can work in the pocket, check in his shoulder, work, work in tight spaces. He can, um, he's got an eye for a goal. Both so feet. Box, both both feet. feet as well. So And he's got a work rate as well. So for me right now, form over the past few months is probably him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue if someone said he's the best player in the league right now. He, to me, or should I say the most informed player yeah, in the league. That's, that's what, when you yeah. said earlier, that's why I was like, what are you talking yeah, about? The most in, obviously, you've got the Agueros and that, yeah. whatever, doing their thing. Yeah, so he's the most informed player. Mm. So let me just check myself that he's the most informed player. But he's up there with, if you're talking about awards at the end of the season, that like he's got to be in there. He's got to be mm. top three right now. Yeah, he has to be. He has to be. Yeah, yeah, he there's, has to be. There's, there's, yeah. no, there's no doubt about if it's, it. If the, if the season finished today, he he's one of the top three yeah. in the PFA. No, yeah. definitely. So, for him, he's he's a very good player, man. But what uh, do you see Tottenham kind of, you know, pulling off any surprises in this Champions League run? No, nah, because I think Dortmund still got a chance. I see Tottenham going through. Do you see... Do, I, think do, do you, I think Tottenham should go through. Okay, so what I'm talking, saying, we're, looking we're, ahead... We're we talking about Tottenham here. As well, we're talking about Tottenham here as well. They don't capitulate where it's three no leads, and they. You keep saying that, but we ain't talking about Man City. If Tottenham, yeah, don't go through, I don't want Poch. (laughs) (laughs) What? That's done. I'm done. It's coach. I promise you. I'm saying it right here. If Tottenham do not go through, get that. Oh, I'm saying it live and direct. I don't care if Solskjaer doesn't even (laughs) doesn't even do well this season. If Tottenham throw away a 3 0 lead, then yeah? Done. Then it's that shows me you done. haven't got any game management, bro. You crumbled. That's the ultimate bottle. But so you know, I don't see that happening. You know, it's, it's so Spurs to lose that title. No, no, no. If it was 2 0, I could be like, yeah, bro. not 3 0, bro. bro. When? Uh, anyway. And they're going to score away from home. Like, I mean, they, I mean, I think they just got. What if, if they score one? Is that's what, is it, there's no way Tottenham are not going through. Yeah. But do you reckon they can do anything in the Champions League, though? Or nah, you think they're yeah, going to come? When you're on the quarters, it's a cup competition. So once you get through the last 16 in the quarters, you can get anyone. You can get whoever's through and whatever it is. So it's, it's anyone's game. You know how the cup competition. Even Jose said that's how, and shout out Jose, he has won Champions League, but he said that's how they, he's always looked at it. Group stage and last 16, he doesn't even think about the, top, the, the trophy. It's when you get to the quarters, quarters yeah, and you start yeah, looking yeah. at the eight teams and you think, oh, the other seven teams, and you're like, all right, cool. Because quarters, what? You're four games away from the final? Basically, yeah. Yeah, you're four games away from the final. So... Yo, you can you can see it. It's there. You can see the light. It's how you're gonna get there mm. and whatnot, and the luck of the draw and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, oh well, yeah, man. Before we get out there, let's talk about some boxing, man. Mm. AJ on Instagram or was it social? I don't know. Some sort of social media. Yeah, guys. You know, my next fight is gonna be in the Mecca, Madison Square Garden. Blah blah blah. I'm fighting Gerald Miller. Mm. <sighs> A bit underwhelming for me. Why is it under, explain why it's underwhelming for you? Because he's not. He Gerald Miller, I don't rate. I don't rate him. I don't rate him either. Hmm? I don't rate him either. Go on. Yeah, I don't rate him. And I think it's just a, it's a simple fight. It's going to go f- five, six rounds. Yeah. Gerald Miller is not going to be able to stand with Joshua like, in terms of just the, the speed, the cardio, all that. It's just not going to. Yeah. So it's a bit underwhelming for me when you've got talks of, you know, oh, is he going to fight Wilder and. Can he fight um, Dylan White in a, in a grudge match? And he's, he's gone to fight David Miller. So what I'm saying is this. If I want to fight you, yeah, and you got a manager, I got a manager, my manager keeps emailing you, texting you, whatever it is to get in contact with you, and your manager does not reply back, what does that mean for you? Does that show that you want to fight me? Depends, first of all, what they're saying in the email. No, 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 no. It's the email I'm reaching out to you to propose. But you don't know that, but we're not CC'd in the email. We well, don't know saying, what the well, emails well, are saying. What I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that, Eddie Hearn is not... Eddie Hearn listen, said, listen, I'd no, send no, them an email. This is what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Eddie Hearn, as I follow, I've been following how Eddie Hearn's been talking for a very, very long time. He's a man that when you, when you listen to him, what he's saying, he's letting man know that, this is what I'm saying, no one in Wilder's camp has ever come out and said, no, nah, we ain't received them emails. Where, what are you talking about? Because they know Eddie Hearn will say, yo, you ain't received it, yeah? Yo, IFL TV, come and link me in my office, yeah? <laughs> I will give you all the emails. I'll print them all out for you, what date and everything. He's not going to come out and say, I sent six or seven emails mm. and I'm not even getting a reply from them. Mm. So if you're not getting a reply, that means your fighter don't want to fight because you're employing that guy to manage you. So if you really want to fight, you're going to tell your manager, yo, 
Have you heard from AJ? Because he keeps going on TV talking about this April 13th, Wembley, 90,000. Yeah, but AJ him? knows. AJ was panicking because he knows that Wilder and Fury, when that result happened of the draw, he knew he is finished. Cool. So guess what? So guess what happens now? So this is what happens now. Okay, so you guys want to milk that whole draw thing. Rago. It was okay, a draw. It was a good fight. What and I'm saying, What I'm saying, you want to milk that draw thing. No problem. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go fight Jeremy Miller. So guess what? I'm coming to your house. When That's he said he wasn't going to come listen, to your house. Listen, but what I'm saying is that... AJ said listen. he's not going to fight anyone without a title. Okay. He fights George Miller. Okay. He said he's not going to fight anyone that's that that they want him to come to America. You yeah. come to UK. Okay, no problem. He's so so when you look at the business of the boxing thing, this is what I'm talking about in terms of it's a move. Like you said, you're not looking at Jeremy Miller as the fighter. Neither am I. I'm looking at the move. The move he's telling me after what you just said is basically saying, yo, I'm just going to boost my profile over there. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going there for the whole, I beat Gerald Miller and he's back. Yeah. I don't care about all that. Because if the I thing, the build, the build up to that is going to be interesting because Gerald Miller's a talker. Yeah, he would just bring when AJ team. knocks him out, then, you know, the yeah. the, pro, the profile will get built that yeah, way. Would, People will be more, they will know him more in America. He, he, would, he would just hype up the whole situation. He, that's, that's what he's there for. That's what Gerald Miller is there for. Mm. Big New York guy, talking grease, whatever it is, cool. But AJ's just saying, yo, there's no point in Gerald Miller coming on April 13th because ain't no English people out here trying to purchase tickets for Gerald Miller. So let me go to his backyard. But you know what would have sold out here? What? D- um, Dillian White rematch. Yeah, you say that, but... No, no, it would have, though. But for, but for me, once again, Dylan White, a lot of people are talking about what he's been offered. and re- Dylan White, was you not? did you not have the oxygen mask when I last fought you? Just please stop no, talking. No, 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 no. Come no, on, you no, can't no, do that. No, because no, since no, then, no, no, Dylan White has gone on a run. Listen, you can keep talking about since then, but Dylan, what I'm telling you, yeah, I've already knocked you spark out already with the oxygen mask that you're talking about. Yeah, but who group. deserves more of a title no. shot? Miller or, or, or okay, Dylan White? But what I'm saying is that, is it about title shot or is it about money? Which one? With, on whose part? On any, you're talking about title shot. You're saying yeah, does both Dylan, of them, both of them yeah. want the bag and they want the title so shot. AJ's the bag. So this is what I'm trying to but say. But Dylan White deserves the bag more than Gerald Miller. Okay, cool. But what I'm trying to say and is the that, title shot. But what I'm trying to say is that Gerald Miller is like a sacrificial lamb. That's <laughs> just that's what he is. He's going there to boost. I know. Problem. I get what you're and saying. When he loses, he will call out the guy in your own country. Let Wilder come to England try and do a fight, and call and call, and call out AJ. It's not going to happen. You know why? Because Wilder ain't got that profile like that. You can't just travel to England and fight a... Ger- Who's a Gerald Miller for us over here? Who'd you say? Wait, say that again. Wilder wouldn't come to the UK. Wilder wouldn't come to the UK unless it's someone like Fury, who's going to have a bigger profile than The rematch Wilder. might be there. No, but that's what I'm saying. But who's bigger? Fury or Wilder? Fury. Okay, that's what I'm saying. But pick someone that's not as big as Fury, that's in the Gerald Miller type thing in this country. Dylan White. If, if Deontay is- Wilder fought Dylan White, that is locking off, mate. I'm telling you, saying, everyone's looking for that I'm fight. Saying, and if he beats Dylan I'm White, saying, then he can call out AJ as well. I'm saying, I don't think Dylan White is the equivalent of Gerald Miller in both countries. I think Dylan White is higher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about who's a Gerald Miller in England? Heavyweights. Like a David Price or what? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down the line now. You're really going down the line. Think about it. Is there any British heavyweights on that level? Oh, Gerald Miller. What is yeah, Gerald yeah. Miller's level? I'm trying to No, but I'm saying, saying that in terms of like his profile, in terms is of his like, profile. You said his profile is big. It's, no, it's he's not. low. This is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, David but Price. what I'm saying is that Wilder could never come to England and sell a fight with a low profile oh. fighter oh. like a Gerald Miller, Gerald Miller level sort of fight in England than AJ going to America. I, d- I disagree, you know. Hold on. Name, name me, name me, a, name me a low class British heavyweight. Wait, okay. So let me tell you right now. Tomorrow, okay. wait. Tomorrow, it comes that that didn't that Deontay Wilder is coming to fight David Price. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it's still gonna be a fight that's gonna like people are gonna come and watch because they know that this is AJ's oh, fault. Well, no, no, because they know that huh? in the size of Madison Square Garden. O2 Arena is Madison Square Garden. I've been Madison Square. I've been okay. at MSG. So, so O2 so, Arena, so, Dylan White, David so, Price. O2, so, not Dylan White. Dylan Wilder, um, David Price. Yeah. So Fury and Wilder couldn't even sell out the Staples Center, but he's gonna sell out O2. <laughs> oh, this this one, you know, what it is because we're boxing people. Yeah. We would go and watch the fight. That's what it. I would but, watch that. But a lot of them are a lot of, a lot of the boxing thing is casual fans that are buying the tickets, mm. just going out for a night out. So what I'm saying is that Fury and Wilder. In, in Wilder's backyard couldn't even sell that wasn't Wilder's backyard that was LA it wasn't, it wasn't I'm talking what? about America I'm, talk, oh, okay, I'm just okay, talking okay. about America in general he couldn't even sell out the Staples Center now you're talking about going to have Wilder versus Price at the O2 and that's going to sell out come on now 
That slightly matters actually, as as I just said back yard. AJ fights in London. That's where his friends are. Obviously, yeah, he saw that in Manchester as well, London. actually. Where was he? But I was saying that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Fires, well. That's what you're I'm right. saying. Guys, not looking at this whole. He is the A side. So what it is is that I'm going over there for the power move. So when it happens over there, if I knock out Gerald Miller or whatever it is, when? I'm gonna it's call. Not, I'm gonna call you out in your own backyard. Like, okay, no. and if he doesn't, what do you mean? If he doesn't, if he doesn't what? Call him out. That's the whole point of going to America. Well, you think the point of going to America is to fight Gerald Miller? Is that what you think? No, just like, he, like you couldn't get Gerald Miller to England. But he know getting Gerald no, Miller gonna to ask, England... They're going to ask him about Deontay Wilder anyway. So, you know, what do you think about Deontay Wilder? He's going to be like, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. This is the whole This is my whole. This is the whole point, why he's going over there. Obviously, he's not going to overlook Miller because he's a boxer. But what I'm saying is that getting Gerald Miller to England was not going to be an issue. Mm. Money-wise, travel-wise. Re- Miller, this is your payday. So you either come over here and eat or you stay where you are. Mm. But he's going to Gerald Miller's backyard just to brief up the American profile. That's what it is. So we can call out Wilder in his own country. Now let's see Wilder come to England, yeah, beat some... some... Is Wilder happening um, April 30th mm. with, with Fury? Wilder Fury? You know me. That's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> you me. I ain't heard nothing, man. Isn't that the same guy that said one champion, one face, one this? Ah, oh, so a lot of people have been saying stuff, innit? No, but fam, back in the I, I respect that. You have to avenge a, a decision. Oh, okay. But you avenge a decision that you said that you won because the referee took 12 yeah, seconds. Yeah, but when, they didn't, when they didn't give it to you, you want to run it back. When I feel like I won, yeah, I don't need to know rematch. But when I feel like I've Especially lost... Especially because he's got held the titles as well. When I feel like win. I've lost, I'm going to go and avenge that, knock him out so everyone's sure that I won. But if deep down inside yourself, mm. if you felt that you had won, you wouldn't need no rematch. You'd be on straight to AJ. Yo, forget that. I knocked him out 12 seconds, gave him too many time, too much time. I want AJ now. Mm. But yeah, yeah, so you're gonna watch that fight then, obviously. Which one? AJ Miller. Yeah, well, it depends yeah. what time it is, man. Yeah. When is it? Well, it's New York, so Eastern time, so it's not no Las Vegas sort of thing. So, and I think that's smart actually, they put it on the East Coast. When is it? East Coast is June 1st or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually do a Team Talk um, link up for that. Uh, we haven't done that in a while. Team Talk link up, obviously, if you don't know, guys. Get a couple of the boys to sit down and uh we have visuals for that we talk about the different topics we usually do it for boxing and football but yeah so um is that, is that everything here yeah? yeah that's everything yeah. episode 20 you know guys thank you for listening keep like i said subscribe to the channel um so you can have the content on deck you know what i mean uh till next week then Peace. Yep, peace out, guys.